Hello, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create 3D Puzzle Pieces Diagram in PowerPoint. The 3D Puzzle Pieces Diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? Let us see how to create this wonderful 3D Puzzle Pieces Diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. The first step is to create a 2D puzzle piece which we then will convert into a 3D puzzle piece. For this I am going to start by going to Auto Shapes menu and under Rectangles I am going to pick this tool called as the Basic Rectangle. I click on it while holding the Shift button I am going to draw a perfect square. Now this forms the main body of the puzzle piece. Now we need to add the hooks that will help the puzzle piece to attach to and also the gaps which it will attach into. So that is what we are going to create and we are going to do that by using the oval tool in basic shapes. So this I am going to click and I am going to draw a circle while holding the shift button. Next let me go back once again to the rectangle shape and I am going to attach a small rectangle at the bottom edge of um, the circle. This serves as the stem for this hook. We will select both these shapes, go to Arrange, Align and Align Center. This ensures that both the pieces are aligned properly. Now that they are aligned, I am going to go to Format, Merge Shapes and press this option called as Union Shapes. I click and there I have the hook ready. I am going to keep it here. I am going to make copies of this. I am going to make four copies, I mean three copies, so that totally we have four. So control C and control V, one, two, three, maybe even for good order, let's have four pieces here. Let's take the first one and keep it right on the top. The next one we are going to rotate to the right. Go to Home, Arrange, Rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and we are going to keep it here. Either we can take a copy of this and stick it here or we can use this. I am going to use a copy of this so I am going to hold the control button while I drag the shape and keep it along the inside edge of the square. And to make it easy for me to distinguish the shape, I am going to make it black. The same way, I am going to have another copy of this kept along the inside edge, inside bottom edge of the square. And once again, I am going to use the same black color. And for all this, I am going to remove shape outline by selecting all of them and saying no outline. Now we have arranged these hooks. Um, around the square. We don't need these so we'll press delete. We need to make sure that these are aligned properly. So I'm going to select this piece, this piece and this piece which happens to be the body and I'm going to go to arrange, align and align middle. So this ensures that it is properly uh, spaced. The next one the same way is to select this one, this one and the body piece and arrange, align and align center. Now we are happy with the arrangement. The next thing we are going to do is to add these hooks to the main body shape. So click on this, this and the body. Go once again to format, merge shapes and click on union shape. Now as you can see here, this is a separate piece. Now from this piece we need to remove these two so that you can create holes here. For this I am going to click on this one. While holding the shift button I am going to click on this and this and once again let me go to merge shapes and this time I am going to click on subtract. When I click on that you can see that the piece is created. Now this 2D puzzle piece is created. We want to have two more pieces uh, fixed 
alongside so I'm going to use this one adjust the position make another copy while holding the control button I am dragging the shape so you I have the duplicate once again I make sure that they it is uh, placed properly for distinction I am going to give different colors uh, for these shapes for the first one I am going to give say an orange color the second one I am going to give um, a red color for the third one I am going to give a blue color yeah blue color looks good now I have these three shapes created I am going to select all of them press ctrl G to group them now that we have the diagram completed in 2D perspective it is time to apply 3D perspective to the diagram to the group here right click go to format shape and here you have a pane that opens up in that let me go to the effects option I click on it and I apply 3D rotation preset the preset I am going to use is this one called as perspective contrasting right if you don't want it to be uh, in that acute angle you can have something lighter like say perspective heroic extreme right so let us use that one so this automatically gives it a beautiful 3d perspective now that we have the 3d perspective in place let us go to 3d format and let us give a uh, depth to this maybe 25 would be the ideal depth if you want something more uh, pronounced maybe 35 is good enough if you want you can always have a top bevel added to the shapes to give it a plasticky look or you don't have to have any bevel so that is uh, something we have done and if you want to play around with the angle you can always do so let me try this one or yeah this one looks good enough the next step is to go to shadow and add a perspective shadow the perspective shadow preset I'm going to use is this one called as below I can do this or I can use something like this or something like this or this the idea you you decide what exactly you really want to have as your uh, shadow there is there is no rule to it so let us use this uh, 3d preset you can have the angle changed for the shadow uh, for example if you want to go to the shadow here and you want the angle to be say changed here you can do that you can same way add the bottom one and you can change the angle here you can change the distance you can do whatever that you feel comfortable doing so let us stick to this one and be done with it so this is a 3d puzzle piece diagram all, all you are expected to do is to add relevant text to show this um, diagram to uh, label these pieces so that is what is uh, the way that you create 3d puzzle pieces in PowerPoint as you can observe it takes a lot of time and effort to get your shape correct to apply the right 3d perspective to apply the right shadow preset and things like that I wish to show you some ready-made templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs where we have done all the hard work for you the example templates are this one this one shows three-sided puzzle piece a three-sided puzzle with three puzzle pieces here as you can see here we have labeled each of these pieces separately and here is the text placeholder that explains these 3d three-sided puzzle let me show you another diagram which is about six pieces of a puzzle and all of them together make a hexagonal shape with a hole in the middle and we label each of these pieces separately this is about when diagram in a puzzle piece format as you can see here each of these pieces is labeled separately and you have the sample text placeholder that explains each of these three pieces that combine together so that is uh, those are some of the examples we wish to share with you as far as creating 3d puzzle pieces are concerned 
If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself, you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating 3D puzzle pieces diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have seen just now or if you want to read more articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.